What up everybody? Welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. We're out on the land, just hanging out. And if you clicked on the episode, then you already know what this episode's gonna be about. So we're gonna dunk right into it. Before we do, we gotta do a couple things. I need to feed the chickens. So let's do that real quick. Welcome to the chicken club. What's the password? Scrambled eggs. You may enter. Skeet. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. You guys ready to come out and hang out for the day? Chillax? Yeah? Please calm down, good lord. Come on over here. Come on over. Hey, what's going on? What's up? Don't you just peck at the camera? What's up, you guys hungry today? You guys hungry today? You want something to eat? Yeah, you want something to eat? All right, here we go, here we go, ready? Chill out, you can get it. All right, ladies, enjoy your breakfast slash lunch and enjoy combing the fields today. Look at the buggeronis. All righty, time to get on back. Scoop. All right, next we need to mow this lawn because it's getting a little bit long. So let's do that real quick and then we'll get into today's topic. Okie dokie, so let's start talking about the title of this video, which is one of my huskies killed a cat that got onto our property. Now, I have a lot of land here, almost five acres, and there's a huge portion of my property back there that's wooded, but everything is fenced. Especially right here, there's about 165 feet of six foot privacy fence. So it's not easy for animals to get into my land. I try to make it as hard as possible because I don't want my huskies interacting with wild animals and I don't want wild animals to happen upon my huskies and, and you know, get hurt or injured or killed. So I invested a lot of money into that fence. That was the purpose of it. So with that said, ever since we've moved here, Gila has gotten this weird interest in protecting her property. She's got this weird idea that this land is hers and anything on it that she doesn't know or is foreign and is smaller than her is seen as prey. Now, that's not that strange because Siberian Huskies are known for having high prey drives. They're known for killing little things like bunnies or squirrels. So anytime something gets on our property like a crow or a squirrel or something like a bunny out in the woods that's in the corner of my property, uh, the Huskies like to chase it. Typically they don't catch it, it's much faster, and it's something that they like to do for fun. However, Gila has killed a few chickens on my property, and I think that's kind of where this started. Now, this kind of goes into the entire discussion of training your Husky indoors and training your Husky outdoors, because we're going to talk about how that affects this entire thing. So, Gila has killed a couple of the chickens that I've purchased since I've started this ranch. It's entirely my fault because I wasn't responsible enough to make sure that they weren't put away and that Gila wasn't able to get to them. The chickens that she did end up killing, they got out on accident. I didn't know they were out. That's why that happened. Now there's been turtles on the land that she kind of messes with, but she's never been aggressive with the turtles. She's never really been aggressive with the bunnies. And to preface what I'm about to say here, I honestly can't tell you if Gila did kill a cat. I just, I don't know, but that's what it seems happened. 
I, I just, I, I, I can't really make sense of it, but I'm gonna explain everything that happened the other day to you guys right now. So I actually just let the dogs out normally. I sit up on my porch right up here and I kind of just sit on my phone or I'll water the plants or I'll pick some weeds and I watch the dogs while they run around. And a lot of times they'll run all the way to the end of this field here and they'll go to the woods right back there. And that's a place where I can't see them. They went back there and I didn't hear anything strange. No rustling, no meowing. There was just like no noises. Typically when my Huskies get in a fight, like if Britney Spears and Gila get in a fight, one of them will yelp pretty loud to let me know that like they're in pain, but I didn't hear anything like that. So uh, like 10, 15 minutes go by and I don't see them and they're still back in the woods. So I call for them and they don't come. I call for them again, they don't come. I call for them a third time, they don't come. So after three times, I typically get a bag of treats and I go investigate what's going on because that's a little weird. So I went back there and they start walking towards me. They're kind of smelling around an area. They start walking towards me. And when Gila gets closer to me, I notice that she has a lot of wounds on her face, like a lot. She's got blood uh, on the underside of her chin. She's got uh, bloody marks on, the, on like her eyebrows and a huge gash from her eye down her muzzle. So she obviously, either got into a fight or ran really hard through a patch of like thick brush or something like that. Like she was clearly, her face got injured. So I thought maybe her and Britney Spears got into a fight, but all like, like I said, it was really strange because I didn't hear anything. So I got the dogs inside. I got Gila cleaned up, got her bandaged up, got alcohol on a rag and uh, just got all the blood off of her, made sure that she was clean and everything. And I thought I would go outside and kind of investigate back in the woods. And when I walked back there, there was a cat and the cat was deceased. And my first thought was, oh, well, Gila got in a fight with this cat and she killed it. That was my very first thought. Now I did check the cat. There was no collar. I asked around for the neighbors, no one's missing a cat. So I'm assuming it's a stray, I, I just don't know. And I buried the cat, I gave it a proper burial and everything. Um, it didn't, it, 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 what's weird is that the cat almost looked like it had been dead for a while. It was very strange, it almost looked like it had been dead on my property for like several hours. There were flies around it, it was like dirty. It, it just, it, it was very strange. The reason I prefaced that I don't know, even though it seems very obvious that my husky killed a cat on my property, I think there is a small possibility that either A, Gila got in a fight with this cat that was injured and on my property and was kind of like not in a position to get away, was sitting around waiting to die and Gila came across it and it went into full panic mode and attacked her and so she fought back. Either that or there was another animal that was feeding on the carcass of this cat and Gila got in a fight with that animal and by the time I got down there, that animal was gone and no longer around. So I, I, I honestly don't know. It's very weird for Gila to have attacked and killed a cat uh, because she's lived with a cat for the first five years of her life, okay? She lived with Rue and I would have trusted her to be in a house with Rue all by herself. In fact, I left her all by herself with Rue hundreds and hundreds of times throughout her life and I never once worried about it at all. And this comes down to what I was mentioning in the beginning of this video, which is Gila kind of turns into a different dog when she's outdoors, okay? So, and this is most dogs, especially Siberian Huskies, and why it's very important to train them indoors first and then move outdoors slowly. And then you basically start the training process all over again, even though they're perfectly trained indoors. Because outdoors is a whole different beast. There's so many different distractions. And I feel that if it is the case that if Gila did end this cat's life that was on my property, then she has got this wild side to her, this like prey drive. And it comes alive when she's outside, but when she's indoors, it's almost, it's inhibited. It's, it's, it's put away because she knows that the house is my domain. It's my 
area and I'm in control of it. But when she's outdoors, as a human, I'm not as fast as her. And I'm not in control of, I can't control all of this land all at once. I'm just one person. It gives her this sense of freedom and a sense of entitlement. Uh, she's never really ashamed when she kills chickens or, or kills things on the property. She's very proud. And for that reason, I have to keep a very close eye on her, especially if I plan on having chickens and raising chickens on the property or other animals. So I'm gonna be working with Gila a lot. Like I said, I, I, I I don't know what happened back there. I really don't. But I do know that Gila did have a lot of injuries and there was a dead cat back there. Britney Spears was absolutely fine. He's typically not one to approach and engage with something. So he, he had no injuries and because of that, that's why I went back in the woods. I was very skeptical about it being a fight between my two dogs because Britney Spears was fine. I did think a lot about taking Gila to the vet because I was really worried about the wounds that she had. I don't know where this cat's from, where it's been, what diseases it has, but the wounds weren't very deep. They healed very quickly and nothing was swollen. She hasn't acted differently and she just got updated for her rabies shot. So I feel pretty confident that she's okay. I feel pretty confident that she'll be all right, but if she acts just a little bit lethargic or a little bit weird, I'm gonna shoot her over to the vet really fast and see if there's anything going on. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, Huskies can act completely different, especially if they're outdoors. We're still trying to learn. We're, st we're still trying to adjust to having all this land and, and keeping the Huskies trained. And I'm gonna start working with Gila a lot more on controlling yourself, being in control around animals, and hopefully I can bring that video to you guys super soon. So. Thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it. I, I know it wasn't the most amazingly happy video, kind of sad, uh, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Something that I, I like being transparent with my audience, let them know what's, what's going down. But if you guys have any questions or you want to share your story or something similar happened to you, go ahead and shoot it down in the comments below. We'd love to read it. We'd love to talk to you guys. It was a blast having you. Thanks for joining the Husky community and we'll see you next time with an episode of Guess What? Yep, whatever we make. Peace.